8.3 meters, that's 8.37 meters, okay? So I'm thinking that in my head, 8.3. So I want this, I want the water level to be right about there. That's where I'm expecting, I know you can't see it. I'm expecting uh, it to be loudest a little lower than that. So you're gonna take the 1024 tuning fork, hold it over this tube. Oh, it seems like I'm right there. It's unfortunate that it's just catching up with me, I think. Okay. Um, It's really there because I'm getting it at 7.5. It's, I'm sorry these squeak like this. <coughs> that's definitely happening. That's happening more like at 7.5. So I don't, that's not very good apparatus. If I were you guys, I would try not to use that one. So that's, that's not awesome. Let's see if I can find the second one for you, point, point 0.249. How many centimeters is that? 24.9. 24.9. So let's look where I'm going to want that. Um, right around here where my thumbnail is there. So You have to listen for the loud sound and then you've got this squeaking going on, but you guys can do it. You can figure it out. Now listen for it. Okay, so it was definitely between 24 and 25. Now here's how you're going to home in on it. Approach it from the other direction. And then you're just going to try to figure out where it, you know, where you were hearing it loudest. All right. So that looked to me like 24.5. Okay, now. The next column over, say delta L or LN minus L1, LN plus one. Yeah. L, does it say LN minus one or LN? Yeah, minus. Yeah, okay. That's going to be meters again. Now, you're not going to have one here because there isn't an LN minus one. So, your delta L is going to be 0.245 minus 0 0.075, or whatever your measurements are. Okay. Okay, what is that? What is it? 0.17. Okay. And you're going to do this all the way down the column. Everything ought to be pretty close to 0 0.17, I think, all the way down there. And then you're going to calculate C, 2F times delta L. So here's, this is delta L. So now you're going to do the speed of sound. This is going to be your measured speed of sound, okay? Measured. The 340 was the approximate, and um, <laughs> these are not formulas that we use every day. That's going to be 2 times the frequency of the tuning fork times delta L. So 2 times the frequency of the tuning fork times delta L. So what is that? 2 times 1024 times... 0.17. Anybody got that? 348.16. Awesome. 348.2? Uh, yeah. Okay. So um, that's your
your measured speed of sound. Okay? Now, you're going to get an average at the end. And that's what you're going to put over here on page 67, average C for 1024. You're just going to average up all those values. And then you're going to do the same thing for 512, but you're only going to be able to get, have two values for the 512 because um, you, we can't get any more than that. You'll see why. Okay, then you're going to measure the air temperature, which ought to be about 20 degrees. Let's see. Up here, it's 22.2, but I think in the back I was measuring 20.1. You, yeah, five, five minutes? minutes. Yeah. Okay. You measure the temperature. Um, let's say, let's say it's um, 20, but you guys measure, just take the thermometer back there and, you know, go near your apparatus and see what the speed of, or see what the temperature of the air is. And, um, the predicted C, remember, this is the measured C. The predicted C is, and they give you the formula, 331.4 meters per second plus, is it 0 0.5? Oh, it's 0 0.6. See, I didn't even remember the number very well. 0 0.6 meters per second per Celsius degree times the temperature of the air, which is going to be around 20. So if it's 331.4 plus 0.6 times 20, what do you get? 0.6 times, what, somebody got it? <laughs> Bless you. Well, what? Well, Okay, so we need to add 12 onto 331.4, so that's going to give us 343.4 meters per second. So this is your predicted value, okay? And then what you're going to do is compare, which means um, find the percent difference. between the measured, which for my numbers would be 348.2 minus 343.4 divided by the average of them. Oh, I'm going to say the average is 345, uh, around, what is it? 345.8. Thank you, 345.8. And um, I will let you make the decision about whether you want to calculate the percent difference for each tuning fork or whether you want to average the numbers and then calculate just an overall percent difference. You should get excellent results. This should, th this should give you good results. However, it's kind of tricky because the stations are kind of close to each other, and sometimes you, it's hard to tell when it's loudest because you're hearing other people's apparatus. You might, a couple of you might want to go out in the hall and do this live, okay? Just so, I mean, you may find it's too distracting in here. All right? I, I think you should be out of here in good time, and you should all have good results. See ya.